Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and I'm about to embark on a big project. I've talked about it on my last couple of Plan With Me's, and it's an overhaul, otherwise known as a before after, of a shelf that I have in this closet right over here. So I'm in my living room, which serves as my piano studio. The school year is over, and this is a great time for me to, just like classroom teachers, reset my classroom. I want to start with the worst part, which is where I store excess planner supplies, planners, notebooks, printer paper, printer ink, teaching manipulatives, kind of a little of many, many things. It is definitely in a before state at this point, and I want to empty it and just start over. I, I don't know what direction I'm going in. I just know that when I finish this project, I want to say, ah, oh, that's better. I want to have a plan and make a list. That's just how I work. So I'm sitting at my desk here and behind me, the piano is piled high with stuff as well. And um, I want little baby steps for this project because it's overwhelming to me. Clearly removing everything is going to be the first step. And I want to just remove it in categories. So the first thing I took out was all of my Erin Condren planner stuff. And I tried to sort it by type of item and whether or not it's been used or if it's brand new. And then I went to the tote bags that really should go somewhere else, not in this closet space. And then this cabinet was full of music, games, teaching tools, and the bottom couple of shelves of the white shelf also had tools. So look at all of these games I have. And a lot of them I don't use because I forget I have them. Then I will take out all of the paper um, for the printer. We have a couple of different types of paper. My husband and I both need to print a lot. And then I have specialty papers like sticker papers and label papers and Lego pianos. These are our cherished possessions that I have in that closet and I really need to display them somewhere. And then various pieces of paper and receipts and of course, scrapbooks and mementos of teaching. So now I've emptied it and you can get a look at the shape of these shelves. This house is very old, it's a craftsman style house and this is an unusual place for a closet and it's an unusual closet. So it's just right in my living room and there are two of these closets actually. They're not lit up very well. I've just kind of rigged a system with a lamp in there and an extension cord. But before we go any further, let's just make everything dust free and I'm using, I sprayed everything down with the Bluebell scented cleaner from Mrs. Myers. It's like my favorite scent right now. After I cleaned it, I took the white shelf out of here and look, this was behind the white shelf. This is a piece that my grandparents had made for me when I was a child. So that should be hanging up, not hiding behind that shelf. Here's the setup just outside of the closet. And the door doesn't open all of the way. It hits against the desk. So I'm looking around at what I've pulled out of the closet and thinking maybe I need to move the desk or maybe turn it a different way. You can see one project leads to another, so then it turned into furniture rearrangement, and I like the desk this way because it has me facing to a window instead of to a wall, and now the door opens completely. That's a big plus. So just putting things back together, I do like the printer in that closet, and I turned the cabinet sideways so it didn't take up quite as much room, and I think I just wanna take the door off the front of that cabinet and those shelves are all slide out shelves. And here's the other closet that is the mirror image on the other side of the room. And I put the white shelf in there and I'm thinking now this is where I should put all of the teaching games. It's closer to the pianos and major development. What if I put my silhouette in the printer closet? There is just enough room for me to put it on one of those crazy looking shelves and 
That way I would not have to go down to the basement to cut stickers. So I have been printing upstairs, walking downstairs to cut. This is a game changer. And I ran a map through it to make sure that there was enough space behind it. And there was. Well, this project started at 1230 today and now the sun is about to go down, but look at the finished result. I've had so much fun decorating with my favorite items like my clipboards and my Erin Condren organizers and showcasing them rather than cramming them in. So I have made this now a sticker making station and a printer station and a planner station and everything that had to do with piano teaching. I've moved to the other closet and I'll take you over there and show you that soon. But I just am so delighted with this space. I want to show it off first. These dark shelves will slide out and make it very easy to access the different types of paper. And now here's what's cool. I can close all of this away and just have it be a living room space or I can leave the door open while I'm teaching. I've hung the piece that my grandparents gave to me many years ago and my desk is looking out to the living room with a window. You can see the sun's going down. And this is just more cheerful and functional. Now I'm going to zoom back because we're over on the other side of the room now between the two pianos and that's where the second closet is. And we'll go inside that closet and see, here it is. And it's right beside this piano, which is where I teach most of the time. So keep in mind that in an old house like this, closet lighting is non-existent. So I have put a lamp in here and just run a cord underneath the closet door. I'm able to put all of my teaching games on either that small white shelf or these built-in shelves and everything is within easy reach, but also out of sight when I don't need it. And the best part is that I can just close it all away. And now it is nearing nine o'clock at night and I just can't pull myself away from looking at this beautiful clean space and I'm so motivated now. I can open up the lid of the piano and enjoy that peaceful feeling that you get when you just know that everything has a place, everything's in order and it just gives you a calmer feeling when you're at work and I'm just really grateful that this long day has yielded an ah result. And I'm super happy with how this turned out. And when my husband came home, he took the door off the cabinet. Here's the before and after side by side. Wow. I hope this video has given you a little motivation to maybe tackle one of those overwhelming spaces in your home or office. Although I spent a lot of time, I didn't spend any money. And I thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.